In this lecture, we will discuss normal goods and inferior goods. Normal goods are those goods whose demand increases with the rise in income of a consumer. On the contrary, inferior goods are those goods whose demand decreases with the rise in income of a consumer. Let us take an example to understand this in detail. Say there are two types of ice cream available in the market off-brand ice cream and branded ice cream and you are currently consuming off-brand ice cream. Now suppose your income rises by $5,000. It is likely that you will switch from off-brand ice cream to branded ice cream. So in this case we may call off-brand ice cream an inferior good as its demand has decreased with the rise in your income and branded ice cream a normal good as its demand has increased with the rise in your income. It is important to note that the distinction between normal goods and inferior goods is not based on the quality of the good. I never said that the off-brand ice cream is of inferior quality. It is just that your preferences have changed with the change in income. It is quite possible that a consumer who likes a good when his income was low may not like the same good when his income is high. So the distinction between these two goods is based on the likings and dislikings of a consumer that develops with the change in income. So this means that no good is inferior at all times and for all. A good may be inferior for a consumer with high income, but at the same time it is quite normal for the consumer with low income.